sure you you didn't get to the ballpark thinking you were going to be the starting pitcher this evening how much do you think um maybe not preparing like you typically would as a starter played into tonight um you know i was so prepared um to go out there um just think i got i let a couple of things get away from me um but yeah as far as you know readiness i felt like i was prepared to go out there and you know pitch it looked like at one point in time in that first inning, you kind of kept looking at your hand. Did you have something going on? Mm -mm, no. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. And, and you said it kind of got away. Why do you think things unraveled the way they did in the first? Um, started off good to the first hitter, you know. Um, second hitter wasn't bad. Um, slider went up and hit him. Um, and uh, I think after that, I just kind of let everything speed up, uh, walked the next guy, and then... Um, I think I had a fly ball to center field, guy got a third, and then um, walked the next guy and passed ball, runner scored, and just kept escalating from there. What type of sigh of relief is there when you see Sessa come in and get out of the jam? Yeah, it's big sigh of relief. Um, did a good job. Um, I think with Armand and, and Greeny coming in to close the doors. Um, definitely team having a back tonight. Um, <laughs> it's a good win. We'll go next to Matthew Robertson. Nick, when did you find out that you were going to be starting tonight? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe like 3.30 or 4-ish, somewhere around there. So then when you find that out, you have to then launch into like a starting routine you've been using before and in the minors. Like what is what changes when you hear you're starting versus like when your mindset is you're going to be in the bullpen? Um, nothing really. i um, been starting down in AAA, so... Um, got my, my routine back. Um, yeah, nothing really changed.